Hey, what's up? What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video with Scooter by 666 and on me OG patch news. That's right, we're taking a look at some patch news. Right off the bat, I see this, and I'm like, ooh, I think I like the way that looks. New Otango skin, another one I know, like, what is that, like his fourth or fifth skin? But, uh, this one's pretty cool looking. I don't know what you guys think, but, uh, We'll have to see how it looks in the game, but this image just looks pretty cool. It's his dark feather skin. I probably will get that. And then, um, so with the uh, new patch, they got this uh, mon mo <laughs> mononoke. Mononoke. I don't know. Is that how you say it? Mononoke uh, crossover event. Mononoke is a uh, anime, a Japanese animation from, I think it was from like 2006 or 2007, something like that. Uh, I didn't watch that one. It was, the anime style was kind of weird. It wasn't for me. Um, but... Uh, they're having a crossover event starting with the from June 13th and lasting until June 26th. Uh, you have a chance to collect shards when you are summoning, and then also you can collect a maximum of one shard per day via the demon seal, which you can usually find in access in the team thing, and then. If you're high enough level, if you're level 40, you can um, make, you can wish for uh, medicine seller shards in the guild. Uh, it's similar to the uh, Hotsuki event. It's pretty much exactly the same thing. So if you're interested in getting the medicine seller, um, you can start collecting his shards. They actually don't go over his skills at all. So we'll have to look at that in game tomorrow. See if we can find him in there and take a peek at that. Um, let's see. So and then the next thing, they have two new S two new SRs coming. Um Chin and it's who made it's who it's who made i don't know let's go look at chin see what chin's about so chin's an sr uh she seems to be attack based uh based on her stats her attack is an s her hit points is an a her defense is a C, her speed is an S, so her speed, she gets a plus 10 speed from being awakened. She's, her speed's 119, that's pretty high. Uh, not a whole lot of people higher than that. Her crit's only 5%, though, so that's not really super great. Let's take a look at her skills. Um, poison Feathers, her standard normal attack. Chin attacks a special enemy with poison wings. Deal 80% attack damage. Applies two levels of poison wings to the enemy with 100% plus effect hit chance for target to gain a poison effect with level equal to current poison wing layer number lasting two turns. I'm not sure that sounds so basically it puts two levels of poison wings with a 100% chance plus effect hit chance to target for the target to gain a poison effect. So it sounds like it's kind of weird. It, it sounds like it puts the layer poison wings on them for sure, but it, the chances. There's a chance they could resist, although it's a 100% chance. I don't know, it's weird. It's just weird, worded kind of weird. So, it applies two layers of poison wings, right? 
and then there's a chance uh, I think it's there's a chance of putting the poison wing layers on there and when the poison wing layers are on there they take poison damage based on the number of levels let's go to special one see what that is chin attacks all enemies with huge amount of poison feathers dealing 33 percent attack damage so also applies two levels of poison wings with 100 percent so again 100 percent plus effect hit chance for target to gain a poison effect with the level equal to current poison wing layer number. Lasting for two turns. For every one level of poison wings, the enemy loses 2% of their maximum hit points at the start of their turn. Damage will not surpass 40% of Chin's attack damage up to three layers of poison wings can be applied receive the poison damage receiving poison damage decreases the level by one okay so she's got three layers on them they can lose up to six percent of their maximum hit points in damage and then lose a layer of poison okay but if you skill it up it goes up plus one max poison level layers so it goes up to four layers and then plus 50 percent poison damage so instead of two percent of their max hit points it becomes three percent i believe that's how that works or is it two percent is it just gonna stay at two percent plus fifty percent which would be technically slightly different uh and then another layer so up to five layers of poison oh and then what's this when an enemy with five levels of poison wings receives another attack level, they automatically lose 15% of their maximum hit points. Won't surpass 200% of Chin's attack damage. Ooh. That's interesting. So, she's a damage over time dealer. What's this one? Chin releases toxins attached to her feathers at a single enemy. This deals 185% of attack damage and explodes all levels of poison wings attached to that target, dealing an additional 37 damage for each level. So if they had 5 levels of poison wings, and you multiply that by 37%. What's 5 times 37? Let me just hang on. Hang on. Thirty-seven percent five. I could just use my calculator. I'm just being weird. 185%. So, what did they say? The first one was 185. So, it goes from 185 to a potential of, what would that be? Oh, okay. Three hundred and seventy. That's a lot of damage potential. I mean, it's gonna take time to get you there, though. But three hundred and seventy percent attack damage is a lot. That's a lot. But it would definitely take you time to get there. She's kind of like a slow build-up type. What's this awakened thing? That's this skill, right? Okay, so what's the extra? Furthermore, when Shin receives damage, the attacker receives one level of poison wings. They'll see Awakener, and she puts a level layer of poison wings on the enemy when they attack her. Okay. 
Hmm. I don't know. She's not really my style, but she might be. I mean, she's a defensive unit. She goes on a counter team, I think. Hell, you need a slow defensive team. She could be pretty annoying. She could definitely be pretty annoying. All right, let's go check out it. It's who made. It's who made. She's got wings too, doesn't she? Yeah. So she's also an SR. She's also attack based. She's got 10% crit, uh, 110 speed. So her speed is goes to 110. That's yeah, it's okay, I guess. Um, her health is kind of low. Her attack is, yeah, 3270. That's pretty decent base attack. All right, let's look at her skills here. Standard first skill, it, it's made It deals uh, a single target. Deals 60% of attack per damage per attack for every golden feather she has one more wind dance attack will be applied to the enemy so she grows for these feathers apparently and then for every feather she has she will do an additional attack and it's 60 percent for each one so sort of similar to the way shut and doji works a little bit golden wings so this is a passive she randomly grows between one and three wings, golden feathers, I mean, every turn. When she receives damage, one golden feather is transferred to the one that attacked her. For every golden feather, the enemy receives 5% more damage and has their hit point recovery blocked by 5%. An enemy can have up to three golden feathers on them. When Itsume is defeated, all golden feathers attached to enemies will explode. And then you can skill up the debuff rate up to 9%. So it would be a 9% uh, damage buff and a 9% hit point recovery block for each feather so three would be a 27 percent damage increase and a 27 percent um hit point block max or hit point recovery block and then i think the awaken is on the passive the additional from the awakening when an ally ally attacks an enemy that has golden feathers Itsumade has a 50% chance of performing a follow-up attack, so similar to Obume. Okay, and then the special. Itsume jumps into the enemy circle from the sky, attacking all enemies two times, dealing 60% of attack damage each time, so 60% damage two times. Uh, and explodes all golden feathers on all enemies, dealing 30% of attack damage for each feather. And then you can skill her up to plus 20%. So it would be an 80% damage, plus an 80% damage, and then 50% for each feather. Oh, that could... Oh man, that is that screams seductress. I think I like her a little bit better than the other one. Uh, she's definitely closer to she, she's kind of like a combination uh Shuten Doji and Abume, like a Half breed Abume slash shooting Doji style DPS attacker. That's interesting. That's really interesting. She's kind of cool. 
I, I wouldn't mind her. And she's an SR. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. She totally said Octoris is the way to go. You you could probably put she could probably CC also. Not quite as good as like a Tango would. But with the feathers she could she could CC alright. It just it takes time to build her up though to get the feathers on everybody, so you're probably, she'd be better off. You wouldn't really want to CC her. You could. You could, but I, you'd be better off with using Obume or, or Tango for CC. Just because they're faster to the punch. Could you use Chin for CC? Um, let me look at this again. So the poison attacks all enemies a huge circle dealing 33% attack damage. So it's a single hit. Also applies level layers of poison, which they would take damage on their turn. So it would actually be similar. She's actually technically closer to like Higginbana. She's actually kind of closer to how Higginbana works. If I think, now that I think about it. Just with like, kind of like a cross Higginbana and damage. You could probably try her. I would, I would really be interested about trying her for CC if you didn't have Higginbana. Not a whole lot of comments about her. Not real popular apparently. I would think she would work like similar to how Higgy works. Alright, so anyways. Let's see, right. Mother's Tale, and then that's the chapter. Okay. Okay, so I guess that's all we've got for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, definitely, I'm. I really can't wait to see the, how the skin looks. It looks pretty cool to me. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please feel free to leave comments down below if you have any comments or questions or anything you want to say. If you haven't gotten subscri subscribed yet, please get subscribed. We'll keep trying to bring you new content and new information about the game. And uh, if you, know, you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps us out too. Peace out. Have a good one, guys.